Hi guys, thank you and welcome back to my channel and whew, I feel like I haven't been into the studio for like ever. So this week vlog is actually going to be a two part vlog. So the first part I'm actually going to draw out the winner for my holiday Christmas bundle uh, giveaway right in here. So a few weeks ago I did a Makeup by Mario unboxing. I'm going to leave that link right down below and I say I'm going to do a giveaway. Uh, it's going to be my first giveaway including Makeup by Mario Cosmetics, five of my uh, favorite uh, skincare products, also a $100 gift card to Sephora. So this week we're actually going to go in and pick out who's going to win this big bundle box for the holiday. And also the second part of this video is going to be my You've been asking for it for like ever so I say might as well let's do it all into one vlog. So this week I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to show you all my skincare products that I use for daytime and nighttime. So if y'all interested in see who the winner is for my first holiday uh, makeup giveaway. Also my skincare products that I use on my skin that you've been asking for like ever. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right down below. Leave the uh, ring the bell button right here for next week notification. I post mostly every single Wednesday or Friday. Also, I post a smaller version of IGTV every single Friday right after I post on YouTube. So don't forget to follow me on all my social media in including Instagram at bella.c.snow and uh, let's go and see who's the winner is for the holiday, make holiday makeup bundle box and see what I use for all my skincare products right now. I think I did something bad. Ooh. So each time I do my recording, I actually formatted my card. I delete whatever I have left um, from my last vlog in my camera memory card. And this time while I was like formatting it and then I remember I was recording another video for a Christmas video that we're gonna add into like our footage later for our Christmas video. And I accidentally kind of like format and delete all of it. So right now Andre kind of like in the other room trying to like recovering the footage from the formatted card. So he, I guess you can allow to do that. So hopefully I can get it. And pro tip if you're recording for YouTube, always have two different memory cards because I'm using all backup memory card to record this video right now while the other memory card it's in the other computer that's gonna take an hour or two hours to record all the footage that I, rec I recorded for Christmas vlog. So hopefully he can record, um, record all of that stuff. Hopefully. Okay. So I don't want to keep you like waiting to see who's gonna be the winner is for this bundle. But uh, but first I just want to tell you an open box to see what you, uh, you're gonna get in this bundle from the giveaway that I was mentioned about a month ago during the Makeup by Mario vlog. So in here is gonna be what the winner is getting. All uh, these products right in here. So this is all my favorite products. So in here we have two of the Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette. We have the matte, master matte um, eyeshadow palette right in here. The Makeup by Mario Ma master metallic eyeshadow right in here also. And another product from Master from Makeup by Mario is the new launch Makeup by Mario lip palette that I also got right after it and added in here. And the highlighter highlighter from Makeup by Mario. I also added in an extra few of my favorite Lily Lashes right in here. So you're gonna have all the stuff that you need for to start out your makeup or to use some of my favorite products from Lily lashes, so have a few lashes in there. And one of the products that I my favorite products from skincare is actually Kate Somerville. So this is my like daily or every other day skincare. I'm gonna talk more about all my skincare products when we do my part two of what products I use. So every single product, skincare products in here is the products that I currently use and all my favorites. So I want you to try all that out. So the winner gonna get all of this products 
products right here. So there's Kate Somerville, there's Murat Hydrating Spray, there's my favorite um, sunblock right in here. We're going to talk a little bit about it in a, just a few minutes. We have face wash, we have face hydrating, one of my favorite facial oils. This was my all-time favorite. Uh, my retinol moisturizer that I use uh, every other day and my all-time favorite that is the Sunday Riley CEO hydrating cream vit with vitamin C hydration so you're gonna get that in the giveaway also so yeah and the most important part of all uh, with all of these products right in here I want you to have something that you can um, purchase to personalize your kind of like cosmetics or skincare routine because everybody's skincare is like more different these products might be working for my skin but depend on what your skin type is you want might want to add in something a little bit more that's why i'm going to give you also a sephora 100 gift card right in here into the bundle so this is going to be the complete set what you're going to getting for the winner and let's go ahead and pick out who going to be the winner is for this my first bundle cosmetics giveaway for the holiday for this year okay so i have all the name written and printed out right in here for all the giveaway and first off i just want to say thank you for everybody that entered my giveaway and we actually have like a good nice chat on instagram for those who like uh, message me on instagram to tell me like the secret code words for um, the giveaway and was such a nice time to chat in with you and get to know your story what inspire you to do your makeup and i love reading all your stories so if you happen to uh, like my vlog or like my instagram don't uh, don't be hesitate to like message me on instagram because i love receiving like messages and always trying to reply as much as i can so now we're just gonna go ahead and check this up and see who gonna be the winner of my first giveaway bundle is so here is the winner I don't want to look I want you to like look first so the, here is the winner is so Mrs. William 097 so your real name is Crystal William I believe this is your Instagram name so I'm gonna contact you on Instagram so Crystal if you see this vlog you are the winner my first winner for the Bella first cosmetic bundle and you're gonna get all this product sending out to you and then hopefully it's gonna reach you before Christmas so you have all these products to like use for Christmas so congratulations to Crystal Williams for winning is it Crystal Williams? Crystal Williams to winning my first giveaway products that is so exciting so next year we're actually going to do a few more hopefully we're able to do a few more of the giveaway I'm trying to do a giveaway every single season so we're going to have like a spring a summer a fall and a winter giveaway so that was like my goal for 2021 I'm not sure what you how you plan out your goal for 2021 yet but so far that is my goal for 2021 is to give out a few more giveaway so I've been trying out not to just giving away cosmetics skincare in the future in 2021 I'm trying to give, give away something that I'm also interested in and that's going to be tech like the last video vlog that I was doing, we're trying to giving away um, Oculus Quest 2 in 2021. So keep your eye on that. That's going to be our future giveaway. So if you are interested in getting an Oculus Quest 2, don't forget to watch my video, like, subscribe to my channel, and then ring the bell button for notification when I post on a video. And then you will get a notification when my next giveaway is going to be. But again, Thank you all for uh, sending me lovely messages on my Instagram for this giveaway and I love chatting with you uh, more in the future. And again, congratulations to Mrs. William097, Crystal William. If you're watching this, message me on Instagram and I just need to get your address to, for me to send this out for you. So congratulations. Yay!
Okay, let's go in and do part two of this video and that's gonna show you all my favorite skincare products I'm currently using and I know you've been asking for this for a very, very, very long time. So now I just decided since it's the end of the year, I'm gonna show you what I use throughout this year to keep my skin more hydrated, more even, and what are my favorite products that I use for my daytime and nighttime. Okay, so just to start out, I just wanna say that I'm not an esthetician. So these are the products that I actually currently use that I feel that is working for my skin. I'm not really gonna go deep into like um, a lot of detail for ingredients and all that stuff. So that is based on personal preference. Some ingredients might look work for me and some might work for you much better, but I feel like these are the products I currently use that work for me for 2020. And just to start out since I have makeup on, um, throughout the daytime or nighttime, since my skin is a little bit more into more like a dry to combination skin, uh, I try to stay with something a little bit more hydrating when I wash in my face. So that's uh, the face wash that I use is from La Roche Posay. This one is the Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. So I use this one for more daytime and nighttime. And I love this one because even with when I wear a lot of makeup, uh, this is a little bit more like a creamier formulations right in here. So it's more like a creamy lotion type to wash your face with. So this is gonna help you kind of like lather up your face without stripping all the oil for your face, for your skin. And this um, face wash is actually really good for all skin, all skin type, for oily, for dry, especially for more drier skin and no more to combination skin. So that's why I use that for daytime and nighttime to help um, do a quick cleanse for my, when I wake up in the morning. Also use that same face wash right in here at night to remove my makeup. So you can get this um, face wash, it's pretty quick. It's, you can get it from like um, drugstore. I got this one from like Target and majority now is getting so much popular that uh, it's mostly out of stock from Target. So you can actually order this from like Amazon. So I ordered this from my like Amazon because last time I went to Target, it was out of stock. So this is my personal favorite, favorite, favorite all-time face wash. And after I, for the day that I feel like I need to have a little bit more extra scrub, usually every other day, not every other, every like two or three days, uh, I'm going to go in with something a little bit more harder to do a scrub and my favorite scrub to do in the shower when I wash my face. So mostly I'm using this scrub is more like at night time because um, I don't want to scrub my face or exfoliate my face too much when I just waking up in the morning because you don't really need to exfoliate your face. In the morning majority exfoliating use more like at night. That's gonna help kind of like um, peel off or exfoliating, exfoliating away or like the dead skin. Uh, from the daytime and you so it's going to help um push in more skincare products at night because nighttime you want to put as much skincare as possible so exfoliating at night to clear out all that clogged pores to help all your um moisturizer and serum to absorb into your skin a little bit more and the my favorite uh in the shower exfoliating is actually the kate some of you exfoliate so this is a little bit more like a green uh, color like this. And all you need is more like a pea size to use with exfoliate. You don't need a lot of this. It might look like really small, but this is gonna actually last you for like ever. And I know this might be a little bit more pricey. You can get this at like Sephora and I believe it's around $75, $76 around there. It is a little bit more expensive, but it lasts you forever. So again, I use this one every other like three days. Some week I do skip this if I feel my skin is extra sensitive or like extra dry. I don't want to like strip anymore. So I majority just use something a little bit more hydrating if I feel like my skin is extra dry. And I just use this when I feel like I feel like I need to wash out some of the gunk or extra exfoliating for that day. So this is the my favorite uh, Kate Somerville. It's actually Andre using this one too and it's also help him exfoliating his like 
man pores a lot because he have a lot more like a deeper larger pores and this does help him exfoliating and pour out all that gunk in his pores so that's like my favorite exfoliating so after exfoliating in the shower i just wash everything up and that is when i go out the shower and I start on my skincare products so right now i'm gonna go into my favorite skincare products the first thing i'm gonna spray into my face to keep my face more hydrating is actually the murat hydrating spray right in here so this is actually hydrating toner so because my skin gonna be kind of like dry right after the shower if i happen to like blow dry my face a little bit too too much or my skin is a little bit too dry that day i just want to keep my skin more hydrated so i spray this on my skin to keep it really wet and damp before i put on any other serum and with your skin you want something a little bit more wet it's kind of like a wet sponge effect so if you, your skin is a little bit more wet have more water in it the more water and liquid and hydration is going to help absorb into your pores and could help absorb your serum in there also so that's why i spray this before i put on any serum or any toner so after i spray this into my skin actually i need some of that right now mm. so actually you can use this like throughout the day if you feel like your skin is a little bit more dry so just spray that. Andre have one on his office table so you can just dry that and keep his skin hydrated throughout the day because LA air currently right now is really dry. We have humidity inside the house in every single room to keep the air humidity a little bit more higher. But currently the air in LA is really like dry. That's why we keep our skin trying to hydrate it as much as possible as much as possible with some kind of hydration. Uh, spray so the Murat one actually one of my favorite after I spraying that I'm gonna go in with something a little bit more I would say more like a hydrating toner but the one that I'm kind of like use is from uh, hand skin hyaluronic skin essence right in here so you can actually get this one they're currently selling at Ulta right now and they have like a set it's actually very affordable I'm gonna leave all the price right down below on the link and all the products are mentioned right here on my comments right down below so you have you know have a list of what i use but i love this one because it's have a little bit more hyaluronic acids on it uh, it's going to keep my skin again more hydrating so this is more like a five in one it's that moisturizing skin glowing skin boosting skin balancing and skin softening so with this um uh, the hand skin i'm just going to add in like a few drops just like this and then I'm just gonna move around with my hand like this and you actually kind of like feel the hydration from the liquid some toner is really like I feel like the any toner with like water base is gonna dry out your skin a little bit more this have like hyaluronic acid in it so you can actually feel the hydration when you put into your skin so I just put that and then press all over my face right and there is kind of like so this is one of the Korean brand skincare and Korean have like one of the best skincare. So this is going to keep 99% of hydration into your skin. So sometimes I kind of do a um, layering toner, especially for this one. If my skin really, really dry that day, uh, I feel like dehydrated into my skin. I kind of like put one layer on it and then I'm going to go in wait a few minutes for it to dry and then put on another layer to keep my skin it really press the hydration into my pores. And after that, I'm going to go in with actually layer another toner. So this one is the rice toner in here. So this one is the brand is name is I'm um, from and the rice toner. So this one is kind of like you can see the separation. Uh, it's a toner is actually actually have like rice uh, stuff in here and you have to like shake it up. So I get this in like you can get this actual in Amazon also. So again, I'm going to leave the link on Amazon for you to get this. Uh, another good website for you to purchase Korean skincare is Yes. Is, I think they have an app called YesStyle.com to order a lot of Korean skincare products. So this is one of the skincare products that I found on there that I actually love. So all you have to do is kind of like shake. Make sure you shake this up right in here with all toner i use with actually i like to use with my hand rather than a cotton ball because i feel like the cotton ball kind of like suck in a lot of like the products so i just like to put onto my hand and again go like this and then press that right into my skin it's 
so with the rice um, toner like this one I remember when I was little because we Asian we eat like a lot of rice and we always have to wash the rice first and then we kind of like skim that first layer of like the white milky water from the washing the rice water and then you can use that on your face it's kind of like the same thing to keep your skin a little bit more hydrated and with the rice water it's actually gonna keep your skin a little bit more brighter and hydrated brighter and lighter also so a lot of asian culture use a lot of rice water just for like toner for that purpose to lightening brightening so that's gonna be my second step or was it my third step to like my skincare so gonna be spraying hydration um hy hyaluronic toner and another uh, rice toner right up here to be right on top after I put on my hydration It's kind of like pressing all the Toner products into your pores to create that uh, That wet sponge effect because now your pores is filled with all this wet Nutrients hyaluronic acids so or whatever you're gonna put right after it's gonna help Pour into your pores to keep your pores to be hydrated from like the inside out rather than just putting moisturizer right on top of your skin and just gonna stay right on top of the skin barrier and not gonna go deep to your pores. So you want something to like really press into your skin and press out that moisturizer and moisture right down to your pores. So that's gonna be my like toner hydration and I'm definitely using this uh, technique both daytime and nighttime. And now I'm gonna go in with um, my one of my favorite Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta right in here. So this is more a pore perfecting serum. So after the hydration, I'm gonna put in something more like a serum. So this one actually I'm gonna do daytime and nighttime also. If your skin is a little bit more hot, more sensitive to like vitamin C, you can actually just use this more like a nighttime to help your skin hydrate, um, lightening and brightening and clearing out your pores. So just test this out because it does have vitamin C. You don't want to use too much vitamin C when you have more like sensitive skin and sometimes it could, could like burn your skin. But for my skin, it's actually kind of like get used to it. So I use this sometimes daytime and nighttime. Uh, if my skin gets too sensitive, I'm just going to use this on like the nighttime. But this is like my favorite serum right in here. So I just put like a few drops of this. And again, I'm gonna press that right into my skin. So this is more like a serum. So you wanna go in with serum after the toner. And serum is a little bit more lighter in molecule. Molecule, did I say that right? So you're gonna, you want to go in serum first and then press, really press that in. You're gonna feel a little bit more tacky when you press into serum um, because serum, that kind of like a double stick tape with your skin and the products you can put after that gonna be moisturizer. So it's, it's gonna help keep your skin more hydrated that way. So imagine you have more like a glue base for your moisturizer to stick on rather than you just have your skin and nothing else. Then your moisturizer is just gonna help like slip around. So with the serum, you can have that tacky and stickiness. I'm gonna have, when you put on your moisturizer right afterward, it's gonna help kind of like stay in there. It's like stuck in there, not gonna go anywhere and keep your skin more hydrated. So after I put on my serum, the next stop is gonna be my, actually I have one more serum. So I kind of like switch that out. And another one that I'm, one of my favorite skincare that I put like either with a serum or if I don't use the, this serum right in here, I'm gonna go in with the Sunday Riley Good Gene. Uh, right in here. So this one is an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. So this one gonna help clear out all your pores Also help deep exfoliating and dull surfacing of skin for clarity. This actually Also help um, lightening and brightening if you have a bit more like a dark spot Being Asian my skin is help if I have a little bit more like a pimple or something and it's gonna last like a few days And afterward after my like pimple heal is tend to have a little bit more like a dark mark right in there so I want to try to clear it out as soon as possible so that's why I'm gonna go in with like the good gene lactic acid this is gonna help kind of like exfoliating my skin kind of like slowly um, actually lightening and brightening my dark spot really fast when I use this like daytime and nighttime depends on again depends on your skin type uh, just use this like nighttime if you have this one and just switch up daytime and nighttime 
depends on your skin type if you get used to it you can use both daytime and nighttime um so i try to not to put so much different stuff on daytime so majority on my serum and on my active or my treatment i leave that for like a night time when i'm going to bed because i'm trying to put as much as possible on night time and daytime i'm trying to be as little stuff i put on my face as possible because if that day i have to wear like makeup then you have to put on different type of moisturizer for all that so that's just too much i'm trying to stay as little stuff as possible for like the daytime and then nighttime i just put on like a whole bunch of stuff so that's gonna be my two favorite like serum to put on. Again, the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta or the Good Gene right here from Sunday Riley. Two of my favorite. So one of the moisturizer, again, I kind of like because I so tend to get dark spots so easily and I want to keep my skin as even as possible. So I'm trying to have something more hydrating and have vitamin C. So one of my favorite, all-time favorite is gonna be the Sunday Riley CEO moisturizer right in here. So this one actually have vitamin C rich hydration cream. It is a little bit more thicker. And I love the smell of this one. So if you can see the bottle, I'm like almost finished it. So I just need to get another bottle. Mm. So you just need like a dime size of this one for your skin. It is really a little bit more thicker and heavier. So I wouldn't recommend using this on like a daytime. Honestly, if I have nothing to do during the daytime and have nowhere to go, I do use it this on the daytime. If I know that day I'm not going to go anywhere, not going to wear any makeup, not going to see anybody. So I do kind of like pack on my nighttime skincare on the, the daytime. On the day that I'm not like doing anything. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I love this one. And another thing, since it's a little bit more thicker, I kind of like trying to dilute it a little bit more lighter a little bit more liquidy because i kind of like hate putting on moisturizer that is so thick and kind of like so tacky that it doesn't glide into your skin so easily so one thing that i do is actually using this one so it's this from clean skin club so this one is a vitamin c brightening booster and it's that watermelon green tea and pineapple so again this is going to help your skin more hydrating lighting and brightening at the same time I'm the only one who uses this so I'm just going to use my finger to put it on. So what I do is I'm kind of like putting, getting a little bit of moisturizer. Usually I use a little bit more like more than this. But this practically all you need it. And then I'm going to go get a few drop, like a drop or two of the serum booster right onto the moisturizer. So what booster is, it's kind of like if you're, you're using your skin for so long and it feel like it doesn't work anymore, a booster can help change that, um, kind of like boosting your moisturizer for it to work a little bit more better. That's in the name of like booster. So you can find a lot of booster. Clarins have a lot of like really good booster serums also. So you can use that to add onto your moisturizer or anything. So that's what I use to put on like my moisturizer and I just want to have a little bit more easy for it to like glide on my skin because I love to have a little bit more feel of like wetness and a little bit more hydration and a little bit more easy gliding when I put on my moisturizer because I don't want something to a little bit too like thick and too like dragging my skin. So I'm adding like moisturizer and then a booster or um uh, oil you can add in oil on your moisturizer also to help it glide on your skin a little bit more better so I'm just gonna go ahead and mix those two together mm, and I love the smell of vitamin C and again I'm just gonna go ahead and dry it and put that all over my face right after I put on my serum so that's the majority gonna be my like nighttime routine if and again, if I don't go anywhere on the daytime, I do the same routine for my nighttime and daytime. So I get a little bit more extra lightning and brightening during the daytime also. Either if you have more like oily skin, no multi combination or drier skin, trying to pack as much moisturizer and hydration as you can, even with like oily skin at night, because nighttime is when you get the most, your pores kind of open up where you sleep and you get the most nutrition, uh, the most products into your pores at night so trying to put as much as possible uh, of skin type skincare at night so that's what i like do 
and I even if you have more like oily skin I know a lot of people with oily skin kind of afraid to pack on moisturizer but don't be afraid to pack on moisturizer when you have like at night it's gonna help you balance out your skin and get a little bit more nutrition and nutrient from the moisturizer that you are using at night rather than on the daytime so yeah so that's gonna be my two uh, favorite right in here so this is gonna be my like almost every single day moisturizer daytime no majority nighttime and sometimes daytime when i'm not going anywhere so every other two maybe three days i do like to switch out my moisturizer and another moisturizer i actually love and use every like three days or so is the glow recipe avocado retinol sleeping mask on this one so with this one have a little bit more retinol so it's gonna help my skin uh, clear out my pores a little bit more with the retinol. I wouldn't recommend using this like every single day If you have a little bit more dry or normal skin, it could dry out your skin a little bit too much um, In my personal experience, I just kind of like change it out every like three days to use the retinol because I don't want to use the retinol every single day and then it's just I feel like just a little bit too much for my skin to handle retinol every single day so I kind of like switch it out every two or three days with my Sunday Riley moisturizer so one day I want a little bit more lightening and brightening and the other one I want to use something a little bit more deeper into my pores I use the retinol sleeping mask from the glow recipe so this one is my also my other favorite for like moisturizer my skin do have psoriasis and eczema uh, on occasionally when my skin like depends on the weather my skin does get eczema and psoriasis so I do go in something a little bit more lighter as in moisturizer and one of the best moisturizer I feel like is treating eczema and psoriasis and keep them under control and but still keep them hydrated is gonna be the CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion so recommend using this CeraVe uh, daily moisturizing lotion daytime or nighttime if you have a little bit more like super super sensitive skin and your skin is prone to eczema psoriasis or rosacea this will help treat that uh, it definitely helped calming out my skin a lot when I have more like really red eczema or really dry patches from psoriasis so i use this one so we'll recommend using this if your skin is a bit more super sensitive so this is good for like everybody so yeah and you can actually get this from like target or any other drugstore I personally like V better than Cetaphil and I know I used to love Cetaphil but then I just found out that Cetaphil have um, sulfate in it so Cetaphil do dry out your skin if you have more like drier skin I wouldn't recommend using Cetaphil but rather use CeraVe CeraVe have a little bit more better in formulations uh, in their products a little bit more hydrating and less sulfate Actually, they don't have sulfate at all in CeraVe, so we recommend switch to CeraVe rather than CeraVe rather than using Cetaphil for your face wash or moisturizer. So, yeah. So after all that step, I know it's like a lot of step for my skin skincare products, but after that, I want to seal in my moisturizer when I'm like daytime or nighttime. And one of my actually my favorite products is actually. Uh, skin oil one of my favorite one is from the Corez wild rose right in here so I like I kind of like stock up on this a lot because after I use all my moisturizer I want to kind of like seal it in and since since this is a little bit more like an oil base oil kind of is a little bit more thicker in molecules so you want oil to be kind of like last thing you put on your face I think that's a trend on Instagram or TikTok right now um, it's called slugging so what slugging is when you put on all your moisturizer and you want to kind of like seal in all that hydration is you put in like a oil right on top so i'm just gonna go ahead and put three or four drop of oil on my finger on my hands after i put on my skincare products on my moisturizer and then i'm just gonna go ahead and press that again right on top of all my skincare products that's gonna help kind of like create a sealing barrier because nothing gonna get past that oil base and keep all the hydration right deep down to my pores and not gonna be like easily evaporated into the air when I'm like either walk around in the daytime or when I sleep at night. So that gonna help like that oil base gonna help kind of create more like a slugging barrier. It's called slugging because you know what a slug is really like 
oily looking but it's really looking really hydrated so when you put on your, your oil right on top of your moisturizer you cannot create that kind of like a glazed donut look so it's also called a slugging to help seal in on your moisturizer so that's what I do on like my last step for my nighttime skincare. So yeah, so that's practically all my um, skincare moisturizer that I like my favorite I'm currently using out of the step. And if there are certain days that happen to have like a zit, a spot, a, a, or if I feel like there's a pimple coming up, I'm actually gonna go in with the Mario Badescu right after. So I call this more like a pink stuff. I showed this on like a few of my blog before. So you just dip like a Q-tip in there. Don't shake this products um, because it has have salad salad acid on top and have sulfur on the bottom. So you don't want it to like mix the two until you use them. You so you don't shake this up. You just leave the bottle like this and get a Q-tip like this. Open the bottle up. And if I feel I have like a pimple, I'm just gonna dip straight down there, right in there, and I'm just gonna pull it out. It's gonna be sulfur cover and solid salad acid right in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and dab that right into any of the pimple that I feel is coming up. And then I'm just gonna go go to sleep with that. And in the daytime, it should be clear, or it should be clear in like a day or two. So yeah. So that's practically majority of the skincare that I use at night and sometimes I use the same thing on like the daytime and one thing that I actually add on my daytime routine is one of the mo most important steps and that's going to be sunblock. So it doesn't matter if I'm going to be staying at home or if I'm going to go out because in the morning I like to open all the window and have the light to come into the house and that still have sun coming in so I want to do want to protect my skin from all that hydration all that lining and brightening from all the vitamin C's I have to go in and wear sunblock every single day doesn't matter if you're going to be indoor or outdoor and one of my favorite all-time sunblock is from this brand right in here is called Purito so they do have a different one this is a certain one that a certain one that I personally like that so this one is called Centella Green Level Unscented Sun. So this one have SPF 15, 15. This have essential oil, essential oil free, suitable for all skin type, organic UV filter, calming and moisturizer, no sticky and no white cast. And definitely this have no white cast. Um, so you're just gonna go ahead and put in like about that much for more you can use more but if i'm happy to like stay indoor i'm just gonna go ahead and use this much and then i'm gonna press that on top of all my moisturizer and sometimes i like to put on like an oil before and put this on top that's just me it's just help my skin glide a little bit more better the one thing that i don't like about this one but it's still worth trying this one because it's more like a water base uh sunscreen so sometimes depends on what kind of moisturizer or um, products you put right down below like me I like to put a little bit more oil for my skin to keep my skin more hydrated and since this is a little bit more like a water base sometimes if you happen to put too much of this it does kind of like roll out from your moisturizer because one side is oil based and this one is a little bit more like water based so what I would recommend trying out testing out how much you use during the day during the day to see how much you should use and not using overuse too much and then it's gonna help like kind of like roll out your skin because it's more like water based so that's like the one thing that I don't like about this uh, sunblock but it's really worth it um, this doesn't clog your pores at all and it definitely not gonna leave like more like white cast than majority of the sunblock is it's really like light and thin so I would recommend using this for every single skin type and it's have SPF 50, so it's gonna help protect your skin from like the sun. So my under eye is a little bit more sensitive, so I can't really use uh, every single eye cream out there because they have something like really heavy, hard retinol or something like that that kind of like irritate my skin, my other eye a little bit, a little bit. So the only eye cream that I so far able to use is actually from the CeraVe the eye cream repair cream right in here so this again gonna keep your under eye a little bit more hydrating it's the same thing as the CeraVe 
uh, daily moisturizer but this one is made for your under eye and I love this one because uh, it's really good for more like sensitive eye if you have a little bit more prone to like different chemical to your eye because if I have something a little bit too harsh onto my eye I start getting like irritated and something I get like, a rash or my psoriasis start coming up so ever since I use the CeraVe eye cream repair it doesn't do that it's actually going to keep my eye a little bit more hydrated and it's also really affordable to purchase this in like Target I think it's only like 15 or 17 dollar and I think that is all my skincare products that I use for daytime and nighttime and again I'm definitely going to leave all the products I use right down below on the link also I'm going to try to find the link where you can purchase them and put them right down there also if you happen if you happen to have any questions don't hesitate to like just message me on instagram i love to answer on any of the skincare products i'm not again i'm not an esthetician i can recommend some of like the good products i use so far so yeah i think that is it for this week video and again congratulations to crystal william for winning the bundle of the products so if you can see the bundle, you can get some of my favorite products, my skincare products that I actually use in the bundle because you want I want you to just like try it out what I try. So yeah. So if you happen to feel like this video is helpful, helpful you in you anyway or any of the, you want to try any of the products, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel right down below. Ring the bell button right here for the next week notification. I post majority on Wednesday or Friday, and again we're trying to figure that out on the day. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media, abella.c.snow. I'm definitely posting a lot on Instagram story. And I'm going to post a shorter version of this video and every other video on IGTV. Also, so check me out right there if you don't have time to watch like a whole length video on YouTube. And I think that is about it. So again, Crystal William, don't forget to contact me and get send me your email, not email, your address so I can send you your gift for Christmas. And that's about it. So I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.